The Lakers coaching search continues following an abysmal 33 and 49 regular season, finishing 11th in the Western Conference and not even making not just the playoffs. They didn't even get to the play in tournament. The Lakers opted to part ways with their head coach, championship winning coach at that, Frank Vogel, and they're starting it over fresh this offseason. So here's what we know about the Lakers' current coaching search. Here's some guys that we know have already got an interview. Former Portland Trail Blazers head coach Terry Stotts. Former Golden State Warriors head coach Mark Jackson that we know that works with ESPN now. Raptors assistant Adrian Griffin. Bucks assistant coach Charles Lee. And former Nets coach, who I like this guy a lot, Kenny Atkinson, has also got an interview. I believe Kenny has also uh, did an interview with the Charlotte Hornets. He's a hot name this uh, coaching cycle. The Lakers' wish list reportedly includes Nick Nurse, Doc Rivers, and Quinn Snyder. All three of those gentlemen are respective coaches for the Raptors, the Sixers, and the Jazz right now. But anything could happen. Anybody could lose their job. Um, Those are guys, though, if the Lakers were able to get an interview more times than not, they would likely get the job. I'm going to be honest with you guys. None of the guys that have already gotten interviews just wow me. I would love to have Nick Nurse as the Lakers' next head coach if the Lakers could get an interview with him. But I just find it unlikely that Nick Nurse would give the Lakers an interview because his right-hand man, one of his coaches on his staff, Adrian Griffin, is competing for that job. Nick Nurse don't strike me as a guy to compete with his own assistants for for jobs. If You would think if Nick Nurse wanted the Lakers job, he would have let his assistant know, like, yo, this is what I'm going for. I don't think there would have been a confliction there. So I don't believe we're going to get Nick Nurse. That's who I really want in theory. I'm not big on the Doc Rivers thing. That fits what the Lakers like to do. He's a home run name. The Lakers love getting guys, as you can see as of late, guys that names are bigger than what they really bring to the table right now. If you look at that roster from guys like Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, they fit the norm of what L.A.'s been doing, Dwight Howard even maybe. Doc Rivers is a guy who, at this point, his name represents more than what he is as a coach. So I could see the Lakers wanting to do that. Looks like Philly's not moving off of him right now. I will tell you this, Los Angeles Lakers owner Jeannie Buss, she recently did an interview with Bill Plasky of the L.A. Times, and she had some pretty uh, honest and straightforward things to say about the Lakers from last year. She said she's growing impatient just because we had the fourth highest payroll in the league. When you spend that kind of money, Jeannie said, on a luxury tax, you expect it to go deep in the playoffs. So, yeah, it was gut-wrenching for me to go out on a limb like that and not get the results that we were looking for. I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. The last year was extremely disappointing. It was hugely disappointing. I feel like we let down Laker fans, and I do not want that to happen again, and we got to get it right. Apparently, Jeannie Buss' ex-man, who apparently is still a friend of hers, former Lakers GOAT Phil Jackson has been a consultant as the Lakers look for Uh, another head coach. I think I'm going to do a video for this, but the report out there is Phil Jackson would like to trade LeBron and build around Russell Westbrook. If that is true, which I don't know, if that is true, that would tell me all I need to know about Phil Jackson helping the Lakers during this coaching cycle, if that is true. Now, to be fair, apparently Phil Jackson was a guy that co-signed the Frank Vogel hire. I liked Frank Vogel as the coach, but I want to play the other side here. Frank was so bad at his job last year. I'm not just talking about the Lakers who were bad as a team, that the players were actually bad. Frank, to me, didn't want to stay with one rotation long enough to give anything a chance. And because of that, I couldn't justify the brother getting another year year at the job. I would have liked to keep Frank because I don't think there's anything else better out there. Like, look at the candidates. Like, none of these guys, to me, are better than Frank when he's got some guys that could coach the defense. I understand why the Lakers made a move. I would have liked them to keep Frank and get some of these players out of the the building first, like a Russell Westbrook, and see what you got next year. You could have gave Frank one more year. So, I'm look, if if Phil could pick Frank, hopefully the rumors of him wanting to build around Brody are not true, and hopefully he can help the Lakers make a sound selection. Mark Jackson or Kenny Atkinson, I believe, will probably be the, the hire when it's all said and done. I'm not even sure if Mark really wants to coach for real again. My guess is Kenny Atkinson is probably going to be the guy to get the job. That's my guess today. Anything could happen. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, Kenny Atkinson is cool, but, I mean, he doesn't wow me. Like, I don't think – is he going to be a guy that's going to be able to 
to get the most out of LeBron at 37 and get Anthony Davis in the shape. I, just, I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe. I just, I don't know. I'm always skeptical of bringing coaches in when you've had success with the previous coach and bringing it in around the same team. So, to me, I think it's going to be important to get some of those bad apples out of that Lakers organization, that roster, guys that don't want to play, guys that think they're bigger than the team, these celebrities. That's what I think is the most important thing over a new coach. You got to get some of these bad apples out and build around what you believe is doable. LeBron James, to me, be the only guy that stays for a fact, and everybody else is, is a tradable asset, Anthony Davis included. Y'all let me know. Laker Nation, talk to me. What would you do if you were the Lakers, and, and what, who would you hire as the next head coach as the Lakers try to maximize the last year or two you got left of this level LeBron James and I guess I could might as well add Anthony Davis to that as well. This level Anthony Davis, because who knows when his body's going to give up. All right, I'm out.